I'm Kerwin Frost, and on this special episode of Kerwin Talks, we're in Atlanta, Georgia, with the world's most interesting man, Lil Yachty. Yeah! Cha-cha! So, um, you kind of like lived in, in Atlanta for like most of your career. Like, My whole career, except for the bit, except for like a small, a yeah, for a small period of time when I lived in New York, um, right after I graduated high school, two thousand fifteen. What made you want to go to New York for a second? Um, I saw all the cool kids were, you yeah. know, and right. um, I wanted to be around you guys, you know, like I, I, I when I was in high school, I spent, you know, my senior year really just like. Almost like not stalking, but just like really paying close attention to the New York youth culture. Yeah, you know, as far as like photography and just rooftop parties, right, and right. just everything that was happening. All the meetups and the Tumblr meetups and in the park, and I saw, I watched everything, you know, from YouTube and from Tumblr, and I was really fascinated because we didn't have that scene in Atlanta. Right, right. And Atlanta was all hood, like it was gritty. You yeah. Know? There was no young youth scene for youth to meet up. You know what I'm saying? So right. I was like so fascinated with it. So I, that day after I uh, graduated high school, I just packed up and left. And you're talking about like just like the Soho scene of like yeah. just where I come from and Luca. Exactly. And all of us. Yeah. Which is, um, it's really interesting you bring that up because I remember um, there was like a division of like like two parts of the scene. Yeah. And I, I remember like when you came to New York, cause mm. I, I I forgot what song I had heard. I think I heard um, like a like a really early cut of Minnesota. Yeah. And another one, um, I don't fuck with niggas. Yeah. I don't fuck with niggas. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this kid is sick. Like yeah. it's so fucking cool. Yeah. Um, but there was like a <laughs> there was like a division of scenes. It was like there was like me. Uh, Luca, Ass Pizza, and like all these kids, and then there was like another group that was like Kisachi, like Malachi, Spivey, yep. all those kids. Yep. And then, and then when you came, when you came to New York, it, it was like, like, oh fuck, they got him. Yeah. So they they were hanging out with you first. Yeah. yeah. Because because my the guy, my friend that I went to high school with, uh, he knew Kisachi. Right. You know what I'm saying so that's how uh, I got in. <laughs> to that crowd, it's so crazy. Yeah. Um, it's so crazy because I went to New York before I started doing music. Like right, I hadn't right. had none of those songs yet. Wow. But um, I knew I wanted to do it. So like, I knew like, you guys had the following. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, not just like a following from New York. Like you guys had a following from all over. Like kids from right, all over right, follow. Yeah. And I knew I needed to have my music spread. So I was like, man. And I didn't want it to be like on some fake. Shit, like I really wanted to be a genuine relationship. You right, know how like right. no, you, someone pays you to promote it's like yeah, you promote it. But yeah. like if it's your friend and you're like, it's my boy. It's just my, genuine, yeah. yeah. So I wanted to build those relationships. Yeah. Which, you know, with all the people I thought personally were cool, all the so cool far, teenagers I thought. Because you were like so, super early on it too. Yeah, and it was, it was extremely early, man. 2015 before, yeah. it, you know, I mean, you know, people were doing stuff, but nobody is was successful, successful as they are now. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, right, right, like right. nobody. No one, like, no one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it was a, uh, it was, it was pretty cool. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I, I remember. I don't know if Lucas ever showed you. I have a, he showed you the DM. I DM'd him in 2014 or 2015. Oh, and I'm sure. like, I'm sitting in the subway train station. And I'm just like, I'm put, I want to show you. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, hold on, look, I'll show you. That's always we always talk about it. He never responded to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Right here. First, I sent them these shirts that I had created. Right. Never responded, 2014. Oh, boys, no limit. Okay. Badass pick. <laughs> but what up, bro? I'm in why. I'm out here. I just met you yesterday. Link up. I fuck with you. Never responded. <laughs> <laughs> what is that funny? Why are your eyes so red? I was high. <laughs> Why were we talking? Back when I used to smoke, man. Oh 2015, my God. When I used to smoke. Man, I was. That's so funny. So high. <laughs> like so high. That's wow. So funny, but yeah. I, Damn. Man, it's crazy, bro. That's fire. 
Yeah, I had did that damn near with everybody. Right, right. Like just trying to get to meet people. Or I was started going to all those parties, and I, my thing was like, I was trying to get. I was like, okay, so how I want to get seen? Right. I want to get my picture taken by Ray and Mel. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, because right, those were the, the yeah. sole photographers. So Ray's anytime I saw him, I was like, try to be real nice to him. Like, Damn, and that's like, fire. Hey, you mind taking my picture real quick? And then they, they never really used to do it at first, and they started once every now and then. then yeah. I just started like building a relationship, and then. That's so funny. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. And um, the 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 DM of like, yo, like I fuck with you. Yeah. That's like. A, you probably didn't know at the time, but that was like a New York classic. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yo, link Everyone, up, yo, yeah, yeah. Well, not even the link up, it's just like, yo, bro, like, like I fuck with you, like, like I fuck with, I fuck with the movement, like, yeah. like but it, people are just very intense with it in New York yeah. more, yeah. so it just becomes like a generated thing that you hear in the back yeah. of your head. I know, it became to the point when every time I see Luca, he, he like, that's kind of what we say, like, yo, yeah, I fuck with you, and I fuck with your music, <laughs> It's actually hilarious. Yeah. Also, like, when he started saying it to yeah, you, yeah. when he didn't even know that you said it to him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, 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 it's hilarious. That's fire. It's really interesting, man. This world is so interesting. Bro. It is. No, I mean, I I feel like the both of us just always have moments like that. Yeah. Definitely with you meeting idols and me. Yeah. like, Or like just some of the idols that you've met that have like kind of had that receptive, like just kind of reaction from meeting you and yeah. you didn't know they felt, you know? Um. Well, as far as like just meeting when I met Jay Z and Beyonce and they knew who I was. Wow. That alone, just knowing who I was. How'd that happen? Made in America. That's okay. the first time I met them. And um Coldplay was playing. Wow. And I had just met Coldplay right before they went on set backstage on stage and um What'd I you went, say to them? I just Man, I'm a huge fan. Like, yeah. I know everything. I've been listening since a baby, man. Damn. They're super tall, man. Chris Martin is so tall. Yeah. And I don't think they really believed me or knew who I was or cared. But right, I right, was just right. like there about to cry. I was so excited. <laughs> and we took a picture. And then I went to the pit where like where all the celebrities were. This is 2016. Wow. And so um, I'm new. And I'm in this pit, and it's like. Obama's daughters are in there, right. and Taylor Swift, and yeah. Travis Scott, and Chance the Rapper, and oh then Beyonce and Jay Z are standing right in front of me. Like, like if this is me, yeah, they're right here. Yeah, and they're like holding each other, oh and they booed up. Damn. And then I remember when I first Jay looked at, cause I was with Coach K, and Coach knows Jay. And right. then Jay looked at me, he dabbed me up, and said, "Yo, what's up, Yadi?" Then Beyonce turned around and said, "Hi, Yadi," and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you know, movie. like man, my mom's played Beyonce like all my my life. So right. like when I when she knew who I was, it was so weird. Yeah, it's like a full circle. Yeah, it was like me. You know who I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's 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 pretty insane. Damn, that's they're so really funny. nice though. Yeah, I um um my mom was like a huge like a uh, Chris Brown fan. Yeah. When but like only of his first album, like never the, anything I else. I love that album. It's the best album. So she would play it like over and over again, like till it got scratched and then she yeah. would get another CD. <laughs> so, that, <laughs> but I, I had this moment where uh, Luca knew him and then we went to link up with him and he, he, he knew who I was and it was really funny. Um, we went to his studio and uh, when he went to go record, um, his assistant got like a shit ton of snacks mm -hmm. and then... Um, and then he came out of the studio and he was like, who got all these snacks? And I was like, yo, Chris, like um, my mom, she's like a big fan. So she just stopped by and like left all these snacks. Um, but she just wanted to do that. I'm sorry. She's mad annoying. And then he like believed it. He was like, oh man, really? Thanks so much. Yeah. Like was so excited. But he never found out that my mom didn't actually buy those snacks. That's actually crazy. Yeah, it was his assistant. To this day, like he comes up to me, he's like, man, you got to tell your mom to come to the studio with you. Yeah, I'm like, pull up. That's yeah. actually crazy. Yeah. Shouts out to that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been in a lot of those situations though where you're just in a room and you kind of feel like you're not supposed to be there and it's yeah. like way too intense. Yeah. Um, I remember one time mm -hmm. uh, at a title event in Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, at the uh, uh, you know the arena. I remember my engineer. I was performing. I remember my engineer said he was looking for our dressing room one time. He was yeah. just going opening like doors and time he he opened one dressing room it was Jay Z's dressing room. Oh my god. And he said he opened it and it was just Jay Z and a bunch of men with smoking cigars and they all just looked <laughs> at him. And he said he just stopped and slowly closed the door. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so crazy to me. Like I thought yeah. that was hilarious. That is the craziest. 
Yeah. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. I mean, one time I was in a room with Swiss Beats, Justin Timberlake, Pharrell. What? Alicia Keys. And then some other higher ups that I, I, I see always around Kanye. I don't yeah. really know the name. And then uh, uh, Gabriel from Raffaello, the jeweler, was there. And the conversations they were just having about music and life and and watches and yeah. the new youngsters, it was amazing. I was just yeah. sitting there watching. And then that was the first time I saw Pharrell record. He did something wow. for Swiss. Like really quickly, like a freestyle, but just yeah. to watch Pharrell do yeah, it. Yeah, record is like wild. It was crazy. It was so Swiss amazing. Beats is really funny because he's like... I like always liked him because he's just like always kind of in his bag. Yeah. Regardless. Silently. Of like, yeah. 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 No, no, no. Not silently, like openly. Well, see, a lot of people don't know that though. I, yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't know Swiss Beats, man. He's doing a lot. Yeah. Like not even just like musically, just like all over, you know, he's, oh, with well, yeah. watches and, uh, and and um and what's that car company? Um not, uh we'll start with an M. Um mm, Mercedes? No. Uh, <laughs> not McLaren? McLaren, okay. yeah, he he has like something with McLaren, and then he's just he's just really dope, you know. He gave me a lot. He gave me a lot of game. Oh, he's man. really nice. Yeah. Well, well, what I meant, it's kind of like in a little John sort of way. Like I heard his new album, and he has this line. He's like, <laughs> he was like, my girl said she wanted a Bugatti for her birthday. A Bugatti for her birthday? God damn! I got two for her birthday. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god! Dude, that's so funny. Like that's like the confidence I try to bring out. <laughs> like, Yo, that's yeah. crazy. I didn't even know you was about to say that. That's actually yeah. funny. That's what I mean. Like just like like what? Are, like he's on one, but it's fire. It's like I got two. Yeah, another. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got her two for her birthday. Yo, Bugattis are so expensive, bro. <laughs> another oh person god. who's just like. Always in his like Jaden Smith is always in his like element of just like not giving a fuck. Yeah, Jaden Smith is so cool. so cool, He's so cool, so cool, bro. Yeah. I feel like the whole I feel like the whole Smith family is just so cool. Yeah, I never met Willow, but I I look at her from a distance like she is so cool. It's just that video where you like just dressed up as Batman and went to Hollywood and started just like going yeah, crazy. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's just yeah. like shit like that kind of inspires me. Yeah, it does, man. I, I, I def, it definitely makes me want to do more. Well, you brought up the thing with um, with Swiss Beats and McLaren, but you've done like some of the most craziest like partnerships. Like, yeah, I have in such a short amount of time. Okay. Yeah, tell me about the Target commercial because um, that was legendary. I thought that was fire. Yeah, for the Target commercial for the Grammys. Yeah. Uh, with uh, Carly Rae Jepsen and Mike Will. Mike Will. Yeah. Um. Uh, it was dope, man, you know? Like, they wanted to do a a spin on a, a, a classic hip-hop song. Yeah, and um, we did it, you know? That was my first time on a Hollywood set. And it was- What'd that feel like? It was interesting. It was real cool to see- That like, was a, early. Yeah, I see a big building space just be turned into like, it looked like, it looked just like Target on the inside. Damn. But it was really just like a big warehouse. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It was dope. What about the- um? The the Sprite commercial where you play the piano. That was dope too, man. Do you really play the piano? Nah. nah Do you want nah. to? Yes. Yeah, that's how I was wanting to play. Yeah, I've always wanted to play piano and um and like maybe flute or like saxophone. Flute. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I I that was really fun too. You know, that was shot with the dude who co-wrote the Chappelle show. He wow. directed that. The, the white guy, I always forget his name, but he used to always be on the Chappelle show as a writer. He was always on it, pop up on episodes. Like yeah. when it started going, it was like it's supposed to be like he's supposed to be quitting. Yeah. But yeah, um, it was dope, man. I've done a lot of partnerships, bro. Yeah. Like I think I've done the most out of like this generation. Yeah, one hundred percent. Well, for sure. Well, you were yeah. definitely the first to cross over. Yeah. And kind of like make that like the to me the Sprite commercial. Like when I saw that, I was like, damn, like we all won. Yeah. Like that felt like I like I that felt like a win for me. Like yeah. when I saw that, that was so fire. It was dope, man. Yeah. And, and then to see Sprite cans yeah. with my lyrics on them, it's like surreal. Yeah. You know. And then I remember I was in a movies one time, and the commercial came on right before the movies. Wow. I was sitting there like with this girl, <laughs> and I just came on a big screen, and it was like, well, how she react? She's just trying like, to act like she didn't care. No, she was like, look, that's you. I was like, look, <laughs> it's me. You know, that's crazy. 
<laughs> no, and then I just I don't know, man. It's dope, man. It's a blessing. I I love it. You know, yeah. it's dope. I'm just trying to have at least my one. I'm trying to have my own of everything at least once. Right. right. Well, what are some um some partnerships that you want that yeah. you haven't gotten yet? Like, what are the, on the goals? Like, pizza. just off top. A like, pizza like, one. You said who? A pizza one. That's true. It yeah. doesn't matter what company, but. You, know. you want a pizza partnership? Yes. You did, Um, you had your own pizzeria in New York. I yeah, remember that. Yeah, I did the pop-up. I'm, I'm about to open one in Atlanta. Really? Yeah, like Yachty's Pizzeria, for real. 2018, we did a pop-up in LA and New York. It was it was dope, you know? I think, I don't know if it's still there, but for a long time, it, the, my, my like mural was still on that pizza restaurant. I don't wow. know if they took it down. Right. But it was still there for a long time. You know, like a big Yachty's Pizzeria on the side. So. Were you mad about that? Nah, I thought it was dope because yeah, people always dope. thought I was like like my pizza shop. Yeah. I really want to do that, though. That's something that I'm doing this year. Like, a real pizzeria. Yeah. Um, and I want to do like, I don't want to talk about it on camera, but yeah. 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 I, mean, I haven't tried We can edit it out. No, yeah. Anything. Well, I just want, like, you know how, I just don't want nobody to steal it, but um, yeah. there's no, like, you know how I has to uh, see. Yeah. I just really want to do that. Yeah, man. It's nowhere near That's here. That's crazy. Me yeah. and Aaron go there all the time. and um, I go every time I go to Yeah, it's so crazy how they haven't just thing yeah. outside of It's crazy. Because it could just its own. Yeah, it's crazy. So dumb to just tie that to like a once and not in PM open yeah. point. It's like, crazy. It's just good out Yeah. Or it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Would you want to do a cereal box? Yeah, I have like a like a fan made cereal box. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that would be dope. I have so far I have chips. Yeah, I see uh, the wrap snacks. Soda, uh, deodorant, body spray, body wash. Yeah. Uh, uh, damn, I'm 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 brain farted right now. What does the um, Yachty body spray smell like? It smells like a teenager. Oh, that's true. <laughs> How'd you pick the smell for that? I, I did it. <laughs> I did it. It's not bad, though. It's not bad. It's just like some collector stuff. You know, right, right, right. For my fans. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Damn. Working on my toy. I, I really want an um, action figure, so we're working on that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I fuck with that. I, do, I just want cool things, man. Like, back in the 90s, they had cool shit. Yeah. Like they had rap, at rap, Snoop Dogg had a doll and yeah. like they just had cool shit back then. You know I was thinking about that too. Like, um, have you heard Kermit Frost Scratch Shot? No. With 10K Cash and Maddox? Oh, you told me about that song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard a piece of it, yeah. Yeah. I With that, I, I kind of, um, I got them together to make a song about it. Yeah, me. I remember you telling me about it. But yeah, it was inspired by the St. Eyes cassette, cassette tape. The who? There was, you know St. Eyes, like the beer brand? Oh, um, saying not, so people used to drink like 40 ounces uh -huh. and then um, there was like a, like Coke 45 was one yeah. and then you had like, like a Budweiser but then St. Eyes they were like the first beer to kind of like sponsor like rappers uh -huh. and so uh, they made all these commercials with these rappers and there's this cassette tape um, I found in Harlem but on it there's like a like an Ice Cube song about St. Eyes there's a Wu-Tang Clan song about St. Eyes Snoop Dogg Nate Dogg uh, they had all of them make a song. All of them made made a song about this beer, it's crazy, and to man. me that like I yeah I gotta play some some of it for you after. But they made this, and to me that was so cool because yeah, yeah, it's like you said nineties collectible stuff. I, I was thinking like yeah they made a song about me. I could like have that as like one of those things. It wasn't even let's make a song that'll hit. It was just yeah. like let's because yeah. But that's, that's kind of my idea behind right that. There. Even the merchandise back then, like rappers had jeans. And yeah. Shoes they kind of like painted all, all over the shirt. Yeah. Graphic designers in general were just kind of better back then. Yeah, too. yeah, you know it's a lot lazier now. People are like can just take anything like and put it on a shirt. Yeah, I think about that all the time. Sometimes I think I think about too much. Uh, I think about things too much. You ever feel like that? I do. I, I I think a lot about a lot of things too much, and some things that I feel like I might think about too much, I try not to think about at all. Right. I feel like that's why I, I'm never alone. I'm right. never alone. What well, um ever? Why 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 would you? Because you feel like you can't be left alone I with start, your brain. I get too much of my thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. I've never lived alone, ever Damn. in my life. Like I left my mom's house and then went to live with another friend. Went to college, had a roommate. Wow. Got a crib, had five people. Got a house, had ten people. 
That's funny. Came here, got like three people I've never lived alone. I know before you, you lived in a in like a house with like all your homies. Yeah, huge house. What was that like? It was like a real world. <laughs> For real. It was. Like a bunch of women. I would get a bunch of food to be gone in one day. Wow. Like I spent like five hundred dollars on groceries. A day. Like Damn near every few days. Wow. It got to the point I just didn't get groceries no more. I just left the house empty. Right, right. Um, hella takeout food. And then it was just, we hung out a lot. You know, right. we did a lot of like gang stuff. Like, yeah, we, yeah. like we were, we, it was a lot of late nights because we were always up hanging out. Right. You know, whether we were all, it was when the Fortnite wave got real big, we were all playing, had like 20 TVs. So they all playing Fortnite or whether we were all just chilling or like, I had a pool table and they love playing pool. Yeah. Um, just a bunch of random stuff. Then I had this crazy arcade system that we always used to all sit at, whether we were all watching a movie. Like we just had a lot of it was a lot of bonding. It was fun. Yeah. Like a family. That's true. Yeah. Is it hard, like, cause you came you came out and kinda like just made this huge splash, but then there was like the whole sailing team. Yeah. Was it hard like like dealing with that? It was like, it was it was a new experience, and I grew up. I have a brother and a sister, we're all six years apart. But me and my sister have the same brother, mom and dad. Me and my dad and my sister we share the same dad. Um, I don't so know what you just said. Me and my sister have the same mom and dad. Okay. Me and my brother, who's older than me, have the same dad. Uh, he had okay, a different mother, okay, right. so he grew up with his mother yeah. in a different side of town. So we didn't really spend that much time together. Right. Basically, what I'm saying is, I grew up kind of like alone. Right. Like I had a sister, but she was a baby, right, so we right, didn't like right. talk. Yeah. So it was kind of like a single child. So when I son team became like my brothers and sisters, yeah, I kind of felt the need to kind of take care of them. Right. You know, but it got to the point where I was spending so much money, yeah. like almost a million dollars, trying to like create this company out of my own money. Right, right. And they didn't want it for themselves. You yeah. know, like I was getting these big magazine cover shoots, yeah. like cover looks and magazines and um taking them on tour around the right, world right. twice. Getting these hotels and these tour big tour buses and spending all this money on uniform custom uniforms and video shoots wow. and for niggas to like not give a fuck. Yeah, you know? not like, even be grateful. And then see you in a bigger place. But then, like, see you as a bad guy? Well, not necessarily the bad guy. They just were really lazy. Right, right, Not right. even like a thing where they were, like, envious or jelly. They, they were just really lazy. lazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, why am I sitting here trying so hard to make you guys? That's why I never, but that's the thing. Like, I never wanted money from my friends either. I just really wanted them to, wanted them to be great. I never right. signed any of them. I never wow. put none of them on paper because I didn't want that. I wanted them to go get their own labels. Yeah. Own. Like here's the platform. Yeah, I just want to. I just wanted, I just wanted to baton. help them both. It, yeah, like it's not like I was like, if I do anything for any of y'all, y'all all sign to me. Right, right, I need right. a percentage of everything. Yeah. That's not how it was. I was literally just trying to help everyone grow. But yeah. man, even to this day, like my best friend, Earl the producer, uh -huh. Earl on the beat, Earl who, on the beat. who's on. You know, he did the Get Drip beat, and he's yeah. on Culture Two, and he did the Act Up for City Girls. Mm -hmm. It's my best friend since third grade. Yeah. I, I, he tell me, like, he's like, yo, man, I'll sign you any day. Right, like, nah, bro, I want nah. you to do you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to sign. Even though that's my best friend, I, any placement he's got is because of me. Because you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. I don't want that. I don't want to make money off my friends. No, you know what I'm just... saying? Like, just like my, which I don't really like talking about, my, you know, my old best friend, Perry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, which, who I'm not that close to anymore. Yeah. Um, I never wanted anything from him. Right, just right. for him to be great. Right. You know? Yeah. But that's a long story, but you know what I'm saying? I People from the outside would never understand that. I mean, I, I went through a lot of the same things with Spaghetti Boys. Yeah. So that's kind of like why I could see that in you yeah. and probably vice versa. It was versa. really tricky, man. I spent the, I had I had called Rocky a lot of times. Yeah. Know? Just to check I, in cuz you know he also had ASAP. The so I used yeah. to I used to call him to um get a I just like, yo, what do I do? Like, right, right. you know, you with this with group it? of people who are, you know. I, Essentially, the first, like, real family you had that, outside of, like, mom. And, like, yeah. And, and, like, and, like, how do I get them to work? To get to focus, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, how, like it serious. Which is crazy because I'm the, I was literally, like, maybe the second to youngest out of everyone. Everyone's older than me. Yeah. But. 
I don't know, you know, and then Rocky just told me one phone call we had, you know, like, you can't make anybody do anything, you yeah. know, like, you got to understand, like, you, you got to understand when enough is enough, like, yeah. you did your part, you know, in your mind and your heart that you tried, and, you know, y'all still family, you still gang, but yeah. you got to, you have to do you, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, eventually that's why I started getting tired, you know? Just yeah. like with the house. I lived with all the dudes. I was like, Scott, I, I, gotta, y'all gotta, I gotta get focused. Y'all are grown men. Yeah. You know, y'all gotta. Um, it's interesting you brought up Rocky. I, um, something that kind of helped me going through with it. He had this, uh, he had this back and forth interview with, with Snoop Dogg. I seen that. You seen that? Noisy. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg, I think that was like a year after he was famous, or like two years. And Snoop Dogg had that one quote, and he was like, you guys both start here, and then it's like, you're going to like start going up here, but then that's not good, because like, your homies are like, like right here, mm-hmm. and then it's like, they, how, how do you guys like meet even? All right, you go down, but like, you can't go down, because then you lose, so right. like, you keep going up, and they have to like, they have to meet you in the middle, and have to like, be there with you, mm-hmm. and if not, they get left, but it's like... I always think about that, and it's like you can't really put it on yourself, and it's, yeah, a lot of people won't understand, and they'll be like, oh, well, he changed, oh, well, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's like, no, in reality, it's like I was there it's, from the it's beginning. Very, it's Turn really hard to deal bit. with, though. Yeah, super. You know, like, that's one thing that, oh, God, it gets under my skin, and people say I changed. The the you changed comment is definitely the worst one. Yeah, man, it gets under my skin, because I, what hurts me, it gets under my skin so much, because I do a lot. Though. Yeah. Like, like, I know a lot of rappers, and I know a lot of rappers' crew. Yeah. I see what they, like, a lot, you know, rappers, you, you know, honor I still have them around, but, man, I do a lot. A lot. Yo, bro, I do a, I go up so above and beyond for my yeah. friends, bro, like, Yo, like, just, I do so much, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not even trying to brag on it, but, like, so when someone tells me that, like, even, like, homies, dude, I wasn't even that close to, I still do, like, yeah. like, st- I've done so much for people in my life that I'm not even, like, close with, just based off of, like, trying to, like, help somebody. Right, right. So, like, that type of shit, like, blows me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? 100%. Like, irks under my skin. Cause there's a there's a lot of even upcoming rappers who like are just like kind of kind of take the road of oh well I, I'm like a, a rapper so I could be like I could act stupid and be like terrible yeah man and they just treat their crew like shit you are someone who I've always even yeah. from afar I've seen how genuine you are you could like really feel that yeah I tr- I try to be man like I just try to be a, a good person yeah you know? it's like just nice yeah it's no reason I, cause i'm so blessed yeah you know like i have so many blessings and like, yeah like it's no reason i have no reason to be mad like, no at all you know like at all like somebody broke in my car last week and oh everyone was mad except me i yeah. was like it's just windows you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, they didn't get anything they just broke some you know broke my windows but i wasn't upset i was you have no CDs in there? No, huh? You have no CDs in there? No, I had, the car had been in the shop for like literally three months. I oh, just got wow. out that day. Wow. Yeah, they followed me from the mall. I had wow. just bought some shit from Louis Vuitton. And they took a suitcase, an empty suitcase that I just bought, <laughs> you know, so. Wow. But I wasn't chipping. I was I'm still alive and it's all good. Yeah. You know, I can't, I can't get upset over things when I still have so much to be thankful for. Right. That's a fact. Yeah. That's really a fact. Yeah. Um, you've kind of taken um, like a role on the producer side lately too, right? Mm, not really. I'm trying to. You talking about musically? Yeah, just musically. I'm trying to, but no, nah, not really. I know you wrote um, Act Up by yeah. the City Girls. Yeah, a little bit. So, I mean, if you're talking about like as far as writing and writing. like constructing yeah. songs, yes. I thought you talking about like actual making beats. How'd yeah. that come about? I just... It's actually my first time ever talking about it. Um, Fire. Um, one day I was in the studio um, with my best friend Earl, mm-hmm. and he played the beat. And he was like, he was like, write something for the city girls. And I was like, okay. And I just did it. And people, I, you know, I was since, and when it came out, you know, <laughs> and they were so like, shocked and they yeah. didn't believe it. And it was like, they, and, and they, they started looking up and it was like, well, um, 
I says they had my real name, Miles McCollum. So Miles McCollum then said Jatavia yeah. Johnson, which is J T, yeah. and then it said Isaac Bynum, which is Earl. Yeah. And it's like so maybe he did like like you know how Kanye had twelve writers and right, right, he right. said he may said one thing in the studio and they they credit him. Yeah. You know? I wrote the whole song. Oh my god. Know? Except except for um JT's last verse. But everything that everyone is singing and all and I wrote the whole thing. You so know you, what I'm you were in there. Like, How did I come to you? Like you were it, just like I just, real I just, ass bitch, give I a just, fuck about a nigga. I just thought like them. You know, like yeah. I know them personally. Right, so right, right. I, and I know and I know I know I know what women like to hear. Right, like, yeah, you know, like yeah. I'm I, like I literally sent it, I was like, yo, what's just some raunchy shit? Like right, I'm just right. I just just started saying, it. and then I went in the booth, and I before I went in, I went, I said, I said, no homo, y'all. Like, <laughs> all, my, all my boys was in a room, and I started just saying, you know, like crazy shit. Right, but right, right. but I told them, I came out, said, y'all watch, this is about to blow up. They, everyone's laughing and shit. Right, right. But it it <laughs> it yeah. went crazy. Yeah, it did, man. I didn't even expect it. I was, it was crazy to me, but. It was, I knew I could do it though. Right. You know, I always wanted to do it too. I always wanted to write a song for right. somebody. And I did it. And when it blew up, I felt so good. Like, because people always try to discredit me, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And so when I seen that, I was like, I'm getting my credit. I realized now I get my credit a different way. Yeah. You know? So, y'all yeah, <laughs> yeah. don't want to give my credit. I'm going to get it a different way. For real. You know? So. Is that some? So is that some you've done more? Like, have yeah. you written other songs that people don't know about? Well, they haven't came out yet, but I've written a few songs that's about to come out. Damn, that's fire! Yeah, for that's a few hard. different people. Damn, so it's that, that was super fun. Yeah, you know? like it was that was something different for me, and that's something I'm getting into now. Like I'm about to start doing writer accounts with different producers. I'm just trying to like, cause I I write. All the, time, all the time, bro. Like you like physically just write, or do you? No, nah, like notes? just like in my notes, but okay. like I can think like other people, you know. Okay, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, that was a real fun experience for me, and I it, it was most fun when it leaked to the public, and it was just just reading people's. I was <laughs> if you man, read I spent people's reaction. a few days just reading people's responses, like. <laughs> You know, people like because I never, I didn't speak on it. I didn't yeah. say anything. I didn't tweet about it. I didn't say anything. And people were just like, "We did you really do it?" Like a lot of people were like, "No, he did." And a lot of people was like, "Maybe he just did this." I mean, yeah. so that's crazy. I just was. It was really interesting so to watch. Yeah. So far. Yeah, it was really crazy. To Damn. See that play out. Yeah. And that's their biggest song now. It's 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 an amazing song. Yeah. That's like, I thought that. I appreciate it. I was really just fucking around, bro. What yeah. was um you you performed yesterday in Connecticut, right? Yep, at, uh, at Trinity University. It was at a university. Trinity, yeah. So what was that energy? Cause like, and how would you compare like doing it at a, like a university as opposed to like a full blown out venue? Um, Angel was hype, you know. Kids be they be returned, but the comparing it to a full blown venue will never be the same because those are people who literally. Went out their way to pay to see you. You know, mm. when you go to a college, it's kind of like, I mean, kids are just right, right. Like this artist time, is like, coming. It's a free show. Like, oh, right, right. shit. Well, yeah, it's coming. You ain't got nothing to do. You know, right, like, right. which I still, they, they come They still got lit, but it's just but, like. man, when people are paying out of their money to, to see you, man, they know the songs. They know every they know song, the energy is just, just insane. Damn, that's Pro- fire. Yeah, it's love, man. That's fire. Where do you want to take it? Um, you're working on new music, right? Yeah, you know, um, I've been take. I kind of feel like I kind of been taking big breaks, but like, I'm really about to just start releasing a lot. Damn, like That's a right. heap of music. You know, yeah. I really want to get into acting too, so I'm about to start filming. Right, you're you're in, um in the new How High movie. Yeah, coming. What was it like being in that? Coming from someone who like just it's completely straight edge. Well, it was fun, you know. Um, Cause I actually kind of got into character, started smoking for the movie. Oh my god! And it was <laughs> extremely stoned. Oh. Um, and it was my first time shooting a movie, so right. And starring in one, so it was fun. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of fun with DC and just like doing someone of that made me so eager to do to do more. Yeah. And to like get a channel with more. Would you get an acting coach? Uh, I have one. You have one. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, fire! Okay. Yeah, I had one throughout that whole movie. That's hard. Yeah, it was so much fun. Working on a show now based on um, actually kind of how I came up in New York. Oh, wow. I don't want to speak on it too much because it's, it's 
real confidential, but yeah, working on the show. Yeah, that's right. That we start filming this year. As like a main character? Yeah, yeah. It's about my, how I was, my, it's actually about my New York life. Wow. When I was living there, like just That's some of the fire. things. I experienced so many things when I left my mom's house and was living on. Guys, no one ever calls me. Some people are calling me now. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, that's actually. That's funny that you say that because um, in the, the interview I did with Luca, we like kind of spoke about that whole era for like so long. The New York one? Yeah, because it was so weird. I mean, it was literally just everyone spread out in Soho. It was like a game of Monopoly or mm. like, just like, no one was doing anything. No, just we were, chilling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just And it like, felt cool. Yeah. And taking pictures. Yeah. And taking photos. And just getting dressed. Yeah. And figuring out how to get pieces. Yeah. Even though everyone was broke and then exactly. going to, to the dollar spot, dollar yeah. pizza spot, yeah. St. Mark's. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's actually crazy because it's not like anyone was actually doing anything. It's actually crazy how us, like, Kids doing nothing and looking cool really like started getting attention from big brands. Yeah, you know what I'm well, saying. Well, it was kind of a the connection to everything. Yeah, and none of us knew that, but it was like, like uh, we were just being ourselves, ourselves and not realizing yeah. it was so many more kids around the world watching. Watching, yeah, you know? yeah. Because like, if you look now, you see so many, you see so many kids like they look like bloody Osiris. Right, right, right. You know, right. Or just like. Like, you know, just, you just see so many kids trying to do, like, the things that were being done. But I love, I love New York, man. I love the scene, man. I loved everything about it. I loved Ray. I loved, I loved your crew. I loved Kyle's crew. I loved watching Kyle Rose be a janky promoter. I loved all man. of it, you know? Like, it was just, I, I even loved, if you go back, like, it's almost like, say, the generation before and then yeah. go to... Glenn. Glenn Brown, yeah, Ken and Rebel, Ken and Justine, Justine and, and Joe and and Ian and Ian. it was just so cool. It's so crazy to say the generation before, cause I, but that kind of was. Yeah, it was like, that was that was like the generation before. Yeah, because it was Tumblr. It was before exactly. Instagram. It was Tumblr. Exactly, and then they kind of kind of faded after our generation. Yeah, kind of never. It wasn't like a group after. No, you know, kind of yeah. just. Yeah, that's something I've noticed lately. Yeah, like it wasn't, a, no one came after us. And, now yeah. what exists is like kids just kind of putting to, together meme fashion mm -hmm. and like over, like you either wear like the full Supreme as much as you can yeah. or like you find like a, you know what I mean, meme clothing and then yeah, but, that's like what exists now. That's yeah, funny but there's that you no, that as well. It's though. not like it's, it's not movements like how it was. Like, yeah. It was real movements. Well, because like everyone just wants it. Now you can just like jump. Yeah. If you do some dumb shit. Yeah. And before everybody kind of like had to put in these years of like doing nothing, yeah. knowing everyone, and, and being like ten kids taking pictures and posting your yeah, pictures, and yeah, strategically, strategically, was, yeah, <laughs> taking pictures on the background, and match your outfit. like it was crazy, you know. Like a lot of people don't know, but that's what this show I'm doing is about. Yeah. Like all that, like it's it's really really fucking cool. That's you know hard. I'm yeah. excited to see that. Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I I really want to take acting so serious. You know? Yeah. And then I just want to start doing a lot more in the community. Yeah. You know, like, like I just want to start doing things, like, like using my power to do things. Right. There's so many people that need help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like what? I don't know, like, what type of confinements are you thinking about? Are you thinking like, like, like. Like giveaways or like concerts or not, like not it not even musically like genuinely going out and helping people yeah. like just like just so many different things bro I don't even know like like just just like f building a foundation and just like like one time I, I just think so much like one time I was walking through the airport and I was thinking about like buying a house right finding someone who doesn't have a job but like wouldn't mind. Raising a group of kids, right, right. Going right. to a group uh, like adoption, like a uh, like like a foster home, like Filling going somewhere, people. and then going buying kids, like not buying, right. but like grabbing like five kids, right. put them in like this really nice house yeah. with this lady, and just have her like take care. I don't know, just like yeah. just things, like things I don't like know, that, it's like yeah. just some. I got, I just be thinking about random stuff. No, you know? no, I feel that. I, I have a lot of people who think about that, and then I have other people who I know who. We'll kind of go crazy about it, yeah, and just like want to like fix the world so bad. I'm just at the point like now where I look at how much money I've spent, bro. Yeah, like I've spent a lot. Yeah, of 
money, bro. And like on very unnecessary things. Like I, I'm, I'm mature enough to say that. Yeah, you right, know? right, right, right. To the point where it's like, yo, bro, I, I really wanna help. Yeah, like give yeah. something back. You know, like, and and do something. You know, because it's so much to be done. But uh-huh. I feel like even in the in the city of Atlanta, there's like, there's small ways. So like, you're someone who's like super into like a lot of the shit I'm into, and people yeah. wouldn't know that yeah. in terms of like cartoons and, and yeah. art and music. It's not really just the one range of like whatever they could try to put you in the box of like trap or right. Yeah, all the other dumb shit they say. Hundred percent. You ever thought of anything like that? Like just doing like um, like just community events? Nah, I I, I wanted to. I'm still trying to, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Open up like a- The pizzeria, right? A museum. Oh. Like a, like a, uh, not really a museum though, more like an, um, like a, um, dang, what's it called? Uh, a, um, I forgot the word, but um, just like something, I don't want to speak on it too much because I'm trying so hard to get it right. Right, right. But like, just like something for the city of Atlanta. Yeah. Something really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is my first time here. Yeah. And I told you, like, I didn't even, I didn't, I haven't gone anywhere yet. But when you go into a city, you kind of feel like the air. Yeah. It sounds weird, but it's like you feel it. And yeah, it's a very, like, you feel that communal vibe. Yeah. Just off top. For sure. Go on in. I feel like that would be great. Well, I grew up in the suburbs, um, kind of, like, because my mom and dad were divorced. So I would go to my dad's house every weekend. He lived in the hood. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, my mom lives in the suburbs. And so I kind of grew up in both. But it was chill, you know? Like, growing up, my dad was a photographer, and he was a... He shot a lot of celebrities and a lot of rappers. Oh, and fine. He listened to a lot of different music. You know, he named me after Miles Davis. Oh, I didn't know that. And my sister after Nina Simone. That's amazing. So, so he, he played, you know, I was, I grew up listening to a lot of various music, a lot of mm-hmm. artists. And it, uh, you know, it, it, it helped me be, become so open and so like interested in, and different genres and music, you know, instead of being so closed minded and it's a lot of people that I meet that are so closed minded when it yeah. comes to music, like they just they don't wanna hear that, that other Turn stuff. That shit off. Yep. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know that the shit that you like is inspired by this. So um it's cool though, you know? Like I didn't I, I, I didn't I grew up in a chill, you know, city. Yeah. It was cool, you know? Um, living here now is awesome. It's so connected. So many people live here. And it's like, it's so crazy, man. Like, if you want, you could just really go link somebody. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, and go make music with them, and it's easy. Right. You know? So, and you see, you can really see people here. Like, you can see, you can go right, to like the store, the real side of go them, to like, the mall, really hang out with them. Like, and you can really just see. It's like, not like linking someone in New York or L.A. or like. It's like you really, yeah. really see them. Yeah. What's your favorite song that you made? Um, um song I have called Check Up. Or um song I did with Theophilus London. It's one of my favorites. Um and Ian, um, who would be with Dev, um, Seals. Yeah. Reprise. Either that one or probably like Check Up. It, do you like that um, that seal song? I, I know you like like getting into ballads. Like, yeah. is that something you want to make more of? Like, you really yeah, like yeah. singing? I was literally, and I was just talking to my manager. I'm thinking about, and I create this next project. I'm gonna do a separate project, like a real experimental one, yeah. under a, a different name. That's fire. And it won't even be rap. It'll just be like something else. Just separate that stigma. Just like just right, just have fun. Like trying to yeah, have fun. You know, that's like fire. trying to do something else and just have fun. That's fire. Yeah. I fuck with that. Yeah, literally just jump to a whole different genre and just yeah. try to have fun with it. Bro, thank you so much for having me at your house. Uh, now you're gonna do a couple songs for us. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out. And now, a special guest performance of The Scientist by Coldplay from Lil Yachty. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
My name is Yadi, chilling with Kerwin. Kerwin, you don't know how special you are. I met a female, it was her birthday. She told me she wanted to take it off. To go to my hotel I promise I won't tell If you come in, top me off She met my homeboys She said she knew one That turned it to once we are Nobody said ho in was evil No one should have said it from the start No one said that Hoenn was evil Girl, you should have been Hoenn from the start Come throw it back on my gang Whoa, whoa, whoa. I met your little brother at the comic store. He was a fan of me, didn't know his big sister was such a whore. But it's okay, any other day. You pass my way, I say hello to you. And you're rocking baby blue rain boots, but it's not even raining. And you come to my crib every Saturday evening. Wanna watch Star Wars the third chapter? I said I've seen that before. I just want to cut straight to the chase Why they call you such a whore Can I get some sloppy top? Can I get some in the drop? Ride around with the whole gang Got the pistol, shoot it like Max Payne No, sorry, I don't do drugs But I got some if you need it I just want what you came here for from the start. Nobody said that hoeing was easy. No one said it should have been bad from the start. Nobody said that hoeing should have been easy. Man, it's such a shame that you wasn't hoeing from the start. Come throw it back on my gang. My gang. Oh, my gang. My gang. Come throw it back on my gang. I switch lanes. In that Rari switching lanes I change pain I change all of the candy pain Round round 26 for Giados Round round in Tahoe Round round with your bestie She giving me necklace She giving me necklace Oh she giving me necklace I want necklace, she giving us necklace. Oh, oh, oh. my gang, oh my gang, my name is Yadi, chilling with Kerwin.